Hello, hello. Come to share the last big project of 2019 with you. I've made uh, six soft cover tatty style journals. They're single signatures. Um, there are three lots of two. Um, I've almost used up all of the, these particular well I have I've used all of these particular fabrics I think I have one of them left um so th this is it for this fabric and it's one of my favorites so um I've reused all of my good stuff in these journals uh all of my good stuff um I'm really pleased with how they've turned out they they all have a charm this one's got a clock and a bee and beads and a heart they all have a dice this one's got a pine cone and a bell and they are they're on a lobster claw and then they are held on with one of these um skeleton skeleton paper binder clip that's it so that all the all of the the charms match the kind of colors of the journals there aren't any charms inside of these so this one has a pocket on the front and inside there's a simple stamped and sewn card and they're maki stamps that i've used on there they all have a seam binder closure sorry my camera setup's a bit different because my christmas tree standing on the box i use to film <laughs> We're, we're attempting a Christmas tree this year so oh that's not um I'll show you the insides of them all although they're all pretty similar except one so this one has a full pocket little label and a journaling card in there and then in here they all have a vintage flash card and a vintage postcard they're all of Athens um except one which I'll show you <laughs> um this one they all have a collage tag in lots of tea stained paper they're really for writing these journals this is some amazing glassine paper a lot of the vintage papers in here are um papers that I've got from Jess hi Jess uh this is from a Spanish a vintage Spanish lesson book this is some of the amazing onion skin paper this is from the ledger paper i got a couple of years ago it's all from a portuguese hotel um i did do a video when i bought that because i was so amazed i managed to get ledger paper this is a vintage page from a vintage ledger book um this is some gorgeous feed sack fabric that i also got from jess there's one of my photo cards there uh, a bag in the bag there is one of my um, botanical catalogue cards and in here there's a little bag full of little bits and pieces i'll just show you one obviously there's there are four mini postcard style photographs little tags and tickets um, there's a couple of matchbox fronts there's a mini playing card a few stamps and stickers Ooh. So they all have the same amount of things and types of things, but obviously they're going to vary very slightly. And that's in this part of the bag. I don't very often use bags. Um, I don't have a huge amount of them, but yeah, I keep being told to use my stash. So I'm using my stuff. Um, this is a vintage ledger that I have printed onto newsprint um i made these little digital uh pockets for this for these journals so they all have one of these they all are the same um i actually they're all created digitally so it's a, a digitally made flash card and little collage and then in this side there are three different types of guest checks which can all be used for journaling there's um, a flip out piece of that ledger um, this is some gorgeous fabric I've made into ruffles. This particular one I got from the lovely Wendy. Thanks, Wendy. Uh, there's a book page. And on here, I've hung a little 
I don't know if you can see. That's one of my little Mackie stamps. That's the acorn and a bell on the book page. Um, made some room for writing. This is a vintage spelling book. More vintage paper from a notebook. Some really vintage music paper it's been written on. And this one was actually stuck to a pr another page. But I really love that. So I've used that anyway. Vintage note paper. This is more of that. Um, this is a different type of onion skin that I got from Jess. More of that ledger. Um, here there's a couple of little digitals in a pocket that I've sewn a, flip, uh, a ruffle to and a little tiny catalogue card in there. Um, some of this margin paper, again, that came from Jess. A little window envelope there and inside there's a little sewn collage journaling card. That was obviously glad to get out. Um, this is, again, it's a vintage piece of ephemera that I've printed onto um, newsprint. So it feels really genuine, even though this is not. Um, this is a vintage stamp album page. Here, um, I bought these little tickets on Etsy. They did have a deadly staple in here, which I've taken out, but I really liked it. So what I've done is I've just tucked that on the corner with a little um, French definition card. And that just is just stapled on there, not stapled, pinned. Shorthand page, square. This is quite interesting. I really liked looking at this. This is, um, I had some book pages from a catalogue selling books. Um, and this catalogue is selling vintage books, but it's, it's now really vintage itself. So I thought that was quite interesting. Um, this is some amazing paper that I got from a, an old photo album, a handmade photo album. Sent I've got a couple of little tiny labels on the strings and in here there is another one of those sewn collage tags. This pocket is empty but in this one there is another larger collage tag. And this pocket is empty. They all have an envelope. Um, some of them are much, much more vintage than others. They all have an old envelope. And inside there are two botanical book pages. There are two butterfly tea cards, a bird tea card and one other. Um, I'm not sure. They're all kind of nature related. So that's this envelope. Some of them are torn across the top. They're all very different. Uh, so that's the other page side of that book. The shorthand, the old stamp album. Um, just a little tag that I've stapled, stamped on. That's another Mackie stamps. All of the stamps I've used are Mackie stamps in these. The ledger. The papers in here are just really, I really love them. They're just really interesting. Little pocket and they all have one of my specimen cards in. The ones that I've collaged myself. Um, I got this gorgeous washi and these fantastic stickers from the lovely Wendy. Um, this is a little tag and on here I've just got a little... Pine cone. <laughs> Sorry, the cat's playing with the bags that I've bought to pack Christmas things in. Um, ledger. That's the other side of that fake ledger that I've printed onto newsprint. In this side of the bag, there are lots of um, little pieces of book page um, and a receipt. Some of them are the yellow copy, some of them are the white copy. Um, there's Vintage Reckoner. These are all, you know, perfect for collaging. These are collage pages, really, they're perfect for that. There's a larger Reckoner. And then there are two pages. That's a page from an Armanac from 1946, and it's from Yorkshire. Um, 
And then there are two French pages. One's from a grammar book and one is from a definitions book, I think. But they're two different French language books. Uh, some more of that gorgeous feed sack material. More of that ledger. The writing on here is just amazing. Absolutely love it. And I like the fact you can still see it through that onion skin paper. Um, that's the other side of the Spanish language book. Glassine paper. Um, there's a little luggage tag in here. Now, this was intended to be glued in as a long pocket, but I, I just really like the other side. Um, I made these a long time ago to go into my planners um you know they've they've been made a very long time some of the planners um but i just wanted to put a pocket in here so in this one there's you know they've all got a long collage tag in with some ball chain and a bee charm on there but i didn't want to stick it in it can be glued in of course but i just i just didn't have the heart and there is a sewn tag in the back pocket so that is this one um i haven't numbered them or named them so when they go into my etsy store they will have obviously the front cover and this one has the blue tall flower okay so that's that one i'm not going to show you everything on the others i will just show you roughly what the charm looks like they are very similar for each color the same tag in here and this one is a little bit different inside because i made this one and forgot to sew in my my pockets so this one has um a fabric pocket sewn in um and two tags there um apart from that you know apart from that they are the, it's the same there isn't a pocket in the back but um you know it's that's the envelope in this one and this is same ruffle fabric and this has the the bushia flower on the front okay so um this one is slightly different all of the others have the same kind of theme so lots of cotton um this one this is the charm on here i do love making these charms i might do a video of me taking some jewelry apart and um looking at that this says possibilities begin with imagination and this one has yet yeah, a uh, pink seam binding i've dyed it myself um so this one has the pocket, same same thing. Um, I can find the envelope just to show you. That's the envelope in this one. And the back pocket on that. I'll do that up in a moment. Um, this one I think is my favorite. Um, I have a small amount of this fabric left. So there is the possibility of another couple of these, but yeah, I don't have a lot, so that's the charm. Um, same tag in the pocket, so I'm not going to pull that out. Uh, so that's the front pocket. That's the envelope in this one. And that's the back pocket. All of the, the exactly the same amount of papers and pages. Obviously, they might they're going to vary. The book pages are not identical. The ledger pages not exact, but the ledgers from the same book, etc. So, um, this is some of that gorgeous fabric I got from Sophie in in Ch from China, and this is the charm for this one. And this has got cream and a brownie kind of beige lace along the bottom. So that's the pocket, that's the envelope and the back pocket. Apart from that, um, the ruffles are a different fabric in these brown ones. Um, oh, I should have shown you in the, the pink ones, the ruffles are, they're not ruffles. The ruffles are not there. They're, they're all lace tabs in those. 
Um, so, you know, same, same things. And then the last one. Again, there's the, the charm. So it's got leaves on it. Um, bees, bells, acorns, clocks. And what's we'll seam binding? So this one doesn't have the full pocket. Some of them have these. So that's the front pocket. That's the back pocket. And that's the envelope for, from here. I got all of the envelopes came from a batch I got from... Etsy and it was a shop that Gail recommended and I went off and bought some envelope. I can't remember the name of the shop. If I do remember, I will pop that into the description. Uh, so that's the last one. Um, I'm really, really happy with how they came out. I love the papers that I've used in this. And like I said, um, I've got a lot of ledger paper from Jess. This paper didn't come from Jess, but um, Jess has some fantastic digitals um wendy is you know the the fabric in these came from wendy from wendy's journal adventures i'll link both of those down below um thank you so much for watching uh in terms of listing these they're probably going to be in my shop tomorrow i don't know that i can give you a time but i'm hoping to have them up for about 3 p.m british time um we're in greenwich mean time at the moment so if you don't know what the time is i don't know where you live it's really funny when people send me a, a message saying what time is that where i am i have no clue um the best thing to do is just google uh greenwich mean time and then your particular country and it will come up uh i will see you soon probably very soon today because i'm probably going to do a video with some jewelry i will see you again Bye.